FNAF World was just retconned out of the story. Before you get mad at me for suggesting this, remember, FNAF World was at one point canon, and this is in fact the thing that introduced the FNAF multiverse. Since if you linger on the starting screen long enough, or actually read the dialogue apparently from my experience, the screen changes and so does your mission. Instead of the original goal of the game, you end up trying to set up hints that we see in FNAF 3 to unlock the Happiest Day minigame. Coincidence? It's literally impossible. The FNAF 3 hints had to come from somewhere, and yet we never questioned them. This is what convinced me how this game was retconned out. The sheer existence of these hints makes FNAF World canon, and the link to FNAF 6 via the Old Man Consequences Easter Egg is certainly something else to get into, but not in this video. Especially considering how FNAF World came out before Ultimate Custom Night. FNAF World is canon. Scott just doesn't want to talk about it.